Light of my life. You know who you are. You Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Raleigh. What you're going to do when the Kaniacs run wild on you here tonight. The Oilers kick things off by winning the opening faceoff, and here we go. Quick pass to Kane. Center into the middle. Oh, they couldn't complete that. Taken along the wall by Hyman. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Anderson. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Nice job tying up his opponent. Unloads one. Steps in front of that one. Here's a blast. Stops it cold. And there's another stop. Taken by Burns. The Hurricanes take it along the wing. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And let's see what the call is. Bouchard's called for tripping. He's off to the box. aggressive start has paid off because they've got one on the board. They've got one on the board. They've really set the table, James. It's all ready to go. The meal is about to be served because they have been all over their opponent right now, especially being the away team. You want to send a message early, playing real aggressive. anything about that power play, James, and I'll tell you who else didn't. The coach and the rest of the team. They score! And it's back-to-back -back tallies! Yeah, and they've been chopping at the bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heel. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Oilers now lead by two. And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle, and it dies on the stick. And he stopped that one. Oh, and another beauty stop right there. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. And now he angles it across to Dreisaitl. On the rush. Here's a shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Skinner. Oh, another great save right there. What relentless pressure. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Now that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Up along the wing. And he takes the dish. Huge steal in his own end. The Hurricanes are in a tight game. They've got to start making good on all those interceptions where they've been great. And it scores! Sebastian Ajo! Well, this is a great goal. The goal scores goal, actually, James. The quick release shot. You're keeping your feet moving to be able to shoot it in stride. You've got to know exactly where you are on the ice as well. With some key awareness to be able to get that goal. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Hurricanes have answered back in these last few minutes, but still need one more to even the score. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. 
Puck scooped up by Kulak. Makes a move in front. Oh, what a save on the play. Oh, that's such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. All smart heads up play to put that one away. The Hurricanes take it across the line. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Everybody can go well, it's kind of hard to protect a one-goal lead when you're sitting in the box and the team's short-handed, James. The PK unit's going to have to find a way to stave off the power play here and get the job done. The Hurricanes send their man advantage here to one score. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter and you have to possess that puck and attack. CeCe's got the puck in his own zone. First period nearly in the books here. Quick feed to CeCe. Point to point pass. Slittering feed! And he denies that great opportunity there. Carolina's moving it up the ice. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. Oh, what a save as he denies them again. Moves it quickly over to Yanmar. Shoot it! Shoot it! Well, the play might come to an end for a few minutes at the end of this period, but the coaching never stops. I'm sure there'll be a few messages and a few words, and we'll be back with period number two in no time. And the opening face-off here in period number two is about set. The Oilers win the draw, and they'll look to kill off the final seconds of this penalty. Feeds it across the ice to Gensel. The Oilers have it in the offensive end. Edmonton's penalty killing unit delivers in a big way. Both sides back to even strength. Well, that's a missed opportunity, James. An opportunity to get the equalizer on the power play. Now down by one at even strength. They're going to have to find a way to muster up some energy. That one was deflating. Slides it back to the blue line. Quick shot. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. We're still in the early stages of this period. It's a 2-1 hockey game. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Burns carries the puck in his own zone. The Oilers have it against the wall. Poked away in the neutral zone by Burns. Gaining momentum up along the side. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Scooped up along the wall by McDavid. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Here's a short pass to Eckholm. Made the stop on the play. It's a straight up race for the puck. And they keep the pressure on. To the low slot. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Eckholm's taking it from his own end. A chance! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. The Oilers are going to be shorthanded as they are called for tripping. To me, like he couldn't make up his mind what he wanted to do, and in the interim, he ran out of space. 
And he maintains possession of the puck here. There's a stretch pass to Henrique. Sends the pass over. The Oilers looking against the half wall. Dry Seidel's out of the box, but they're still short-handed as he steps in to help try to kill off this penalty. Moves it to the middle.
Well, there you go, 40 minutes in the books. All right, friends, go grab yourself some water, get hydrated, and then buckle up because we got an exciting third period coming up in moments. and they finally made it happen. Well, they're in the final frame here, but they got one back, and you know what that's like as an opponent when you know that that team is coming and they're a wave. There's a lot of urgency, and they're a dangerous team right now. Quick feed to Stahl. Shot! Oh, that a save on the play! Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Still lots of time left in the period. Edmonton's trailing by one. Stalls won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Came up with the save on that play. Scores! And look at that, they answer right back. Well, the game is a hodgepodge of counters, and this is exactly what needed to happen. They were scored on, they respond quickly, and they find themselves in a favorable spot. Well, the goaltender has no chance of catching up to this puck. I mean, man, he put some hot sauce, some pepper, and some mustard on this quick release shot all at once. The Hurricanes have shown no signs of stopping putting pucks on net, and they lead it here in this third. The Oilers win it. Moves it quickly over to McLeod. Takes it to the front. Decides to think about it. Here's a short pass to Stetcher. Oh, a true warrior to block that. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. They got to put a pin in the penalty balloon here, James. Them frustrating calls, no question about it. They got to figure out a way to control their emotion and get back in this game. I won't be surprised to see the 1-3-1 one, one again. They had success on it earlier, James. And listen, I love this. I coach this with my team because I love the bumper spot and I love the net front player. You're taking away the eyes of the goaltender, but he can also pop out below the goal line and present as an option. So multiple variations that can strike. A serve Scores! What a finish on the play! It takes hard work in the intangibles to get available for a one-timer in that low slot area. You know it's going to be a grind. You're going to have to fight for your space. He does a great job of it and buries it home. The 
The Oilers definitely needed that one here in the third. You feel their energy amping up as they get through this third period, and they'll need to have their best hockey the last if they want to get back in this one. And sends it just out of reach. The Oilers play to let the win. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. It's amazing to me how he always looks like he's in the right position because he tracks and reads the play so well. And this time he gets in front of the puck. It's right in the middle of the ice as the shooter's got a dangerous opportunity. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Well, we know the time on ice numbers are all going to the penalty killers here, James, because it has been an onset, a parade to the penalty box. They've got to find a way to play even strength. Clouds out of the sin bin and joins the penalty kill here. Moves it up through the middle from the right. Poked away in the defensive end. Slides the puck ahead to Kulak. Edmonton's got control of it now here in the offensive end. From the slot. That's off a stick. Hammers it on net. The Hurricanes have it now. This is a poor power play, James. You have to find your way to execute. You can't execute. The Hurricanes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Loose puck and they're off to the races. There's the whistle icing the call. Big face off looming. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone face off. And with the two tied up off the face off, a great read to grab possession of the puck. A center chance. And there's the whistle as the puck is covered up for a stoppage. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. Off the draw, they take possession. Shea's got it into offensive territory. Shot! And it doesn't reach the net because it goes off a stick. Here's a chance to get it out of their own end. Oh, and that's blocked. I'm sure they'd love a redo on that. Uh, you can say that again. You got to get that puck out. Instead, you don't. You find up your back in coverage, and it's a scramble out there now. Intercepted at center by Echo. Goes right to the crease. Oh, that's a huge stop by Anderson. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Skinner's at the bench alone for the extra attacker to jump on. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. The Hurricanes took full advantage of their special teams tonight. James, there's two things on power play. You have to be able to get in and set up and then to find ways to attack. And that's exactly what they did today. They executed, they capitalized, and the reason why they were successful. All right, here comes one of the great surprises in hockey. It's the Storm Surge, Cheryl. Any ideas what's going to happen? Not a clue, do you, James? I don't think anyone in the building knows, and that's what they anticipate. That's what they love about it. What are they going to do with this Storm Surge and their salute to their fans? Here we go. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Cebalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see.